Hello everybody. Today I'm going to do a DIY and at home protein skimmer here. You can see that it is skimming quite a bit and I'm really happy with it. Uh, it took me a, you know, a lot of different uh, techniques and different uh, combinations to make this happen, but it is finally working and it looks very good. Um, skimming a lot of skim mate, I guess, and you can see all that nasty stuff coming out of it. So, um, I'm going to show you how to do that, and it's pretty simple here. Uh, but first, an update of the tank. Um, as you can see, it's looking good. I am having some hair algae problems. It looks like it's starting to grow. I don't know what it is or why it's happening, but um, somebody could help me out with this. Please let me know how to get rid of it. I don't know if it's hair algae yet. It's, um, it's not uh, growing enough for me to know what exactly it is, but it looks like very uh, premature hair algae. So, other than that, the tank is not doing very good, I'd say. Uh, looks nice, but my corals still haven't opened. It's been about uh, a week, and I tested the water. Everything's, uh, everything's at the right levels. The salinity was really high, so I, I added in some RO water and now it's down to 1.022 and it seems like it should be about perfect for these corals but they're still not opening and I'm starting to believe that they are dead I mean obviously they can't die that quick but they might be just so shocked that they're not going to come back um, the water level's really high so other than that, the, the clownfish seems happy, but it looks like he might have ick. Uh, um, there's a spot on his face, and it's looking like it might develop some ick. I don't know yet, but... Alright, so I'm going to show you how to make one of these protein skimmers here. As you can see, it's only been in there for about uh, 8 hours, and it's... It's skimming like crazy. I don't know uh, how well this collection cup's gonna work, but um, I don't want to mess with it because it's skimming and it's getting nasty stuff out of the tank. So it's working for me. And as you can see here, it's pretty much just a like a bottled water and then another bottled water flipped upside down in the top of the collection cup. So I'm going to show you how to do that really quick. Um, let's move away. You pretty much just need a air stone and a pump. And I'm using this pump from a BioCube protein skimmer, which which sucks. Those things suck. Don't get one ever. Um, but anyways, la da 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 da. Okay, so what you're gonna want to do is get a water bottle like this, and depending on the sump that you have, um, cut it to size. Probably about. Uh, right here cut that out all the way around uh, take off this let's see here get yourself another water bottle and then um, again depending on your sump and how how much room you have cut about right to where the label is all the way around 
And what you're going to want to do is make it so it's like a tornado maker, like this. Uh, get, you're going to need a hot glue gun too. So you unscrew the cap on either one really. You only need one cap. So you unscrew it and cut, cut a hole in the top of this pretty much all the way around. Cut out the middle. You can see there there's like a border around it. Cut the middle out of it and make it able to kind of screw on here. But what you're going to want to do is um, hot glue this guy onto the shorter bottle, the shorter cut bottle, just like that. Just like that. So that whenever you flip the bottle over, oh, it's pouring water out on me. You could, you could um, connect the two like a tornado maker. And the last thing you're going to need is another bottle that is bigger. Um, I used I used a milk jug, not this size milk jug, a, a bigger milk, or a, I think it's a quart. And pretty much took bottle number one, the longer bottle, and hot glued it into the top here. Flipped it over so that... It was pretty much like this, and had the collection cup in the top of it. Now, this is a really, this is a really um, difficult explanation. What I'm going to do is just show you mine. I'm going to put the milk back in the fridge. I'm going to pull mine out. I'm going to show you how to how exactly it was done. I didn't want to pull it out, but seeing how this video is really difficult. I'm going to show you. Uh, here. Bear with me here. i got to unplug it. You guys are still here. Alright, so as you can see here, bottle number one is connected to that cap, which is hot glued to bottle number two, which is inside of the, the milk container. And however you want to affix it to your to your sump, I have it on a suction cup, and I I cut a hole in the container and put the the end of the suction cup through it. Works really well. Took me a couple days to figure out how to connect it because it kept on uh, falling off. And then pretty much you just put the the air stone up in this thing here, and you're good to go. Um, you get some pretty good skim made like that. I hope this video will help. Um, it's pretty simple. I hope I explained it well enough for you to understand. And I know it should help. I mean, I I kind of figured this out myself. I've seen multiple videos on YouTube, and they were not helpful. So this is the best one that I've seen and it's my own creation. Hope it helped. Subscribe. Thanks.